Hi, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist. But today I want to talk a little bit about the domain name system, something which everyone is deeply dependent on if you go anywhere in the internet today, uh, on security in general, something we should all care a great deal about, and on the domain name system security proposition, or DNSSEC, uh, which is already underway and rolling out uh, across the internet. The domain name system is something that everyone who uses the internet must be familiar with. If you send an email, there's a domain name at the end, vint at google.com. Google.com is a domain name. .com is a top-level domain name. And of course, the thing which points to all the top-level domains, whether it's .com, .net, .org, .fr, .de, and so on, is called the root zone file. And there are root servers that will deliver information that allow you and your computer to translate a domain name into an internet address. Now, we've been concerned over the evolution of the internet since the 1970s with the need for increasing its security. If we rely on this network every single day for more and more uh, activity, then the more important it is for this net to become very secure, uh, something that we can feel confident in, that we can share confidential information through, um, deal with financial transactions, deal with healthcare and other kinds of sensitive information, to say nothing of all the personal interactions that take place on the net by way of various uh, of the uh, uh, of social media, if you like, or social networking applications like you know, Twitter and Blogger and so on. So uh, security has now become a top topic uh, in Internet's uh, operation. There are a number of things that are going on in the net to improve security. One of them is to improve the way in which we uh, develop and use passwords, in some cases to avoid the reuse of passwords at all, using special devices that generate random passwords every 30 seconds. So there are a number of things along those lines that are underway. The use of SSL or TLS, which simply mean encrypting uh, information as it goes from your computer to a server somewhere on the net and back so that it's not exposed. Uh, in plain text form, therefore protecting you from uh, exposure and increasing uh, the confidentiality of the system. The domain name system, though, is so fundamental that it is the thing that translates domain names into internet addresses, and it's the underlying protocols of the internet, TCP and IP, that use those internet addresses to build a path from where you are to the place that you're interacting with. If that translation from domain name to IP address should be uh, somehow to go awry, if it should be uh, uh, somehow uh, interfered with, uh, compromised in some way, you could end up not where you intended to go, like the Bank of America website, but some site that looks like the Bank of America because they've scraped the screen of the real site and put it up in front of you and invited you to log in except that it's actually a pirate site, and when you log in with your username and password, the pirate takes that information and then says, oh, well, there was a little problem, and sends you off by way of redirection to the real Bank of America site where you log in again thinking, well, there was a little glitch, and in the meantime, the bad guy is off there you know, removing uh, whatever money he might have left in your account. So uh, we don't want these kinds of compromises to happen, and there are a number of different places in the Internet architecture where such things could happen. One of the ways of combating this kind of uh, compromise is to digitally sign the binding between the domain name and the Internet address. So when the operator of a website uh, tells the domain name system Hi, this is the IP address, the internet address of my server, and I'm digitally signing this information. The domain name system uh, operator can put that information with the digital signature into the domain name system server. When someone else makes a query to find out how to map from the domain name to the IP address, you can ask for a signed response. If you get a signed response back and you validate that the digital signature is valid, that it, uh, a certificate has been issued by a, a proper certificate authority and so on, you can have more confidence in that binding in the, in the sense that you have not been misdirected to an improper site. So DNSSEC, which implements this digital signing technique, is a really powerful tool to uh, avoid some of the bad problems 
that can occur in the uh, existing domain name system. Uh, it's already starting to propagate. There are top-level domains like Sweden.se or Bulgaria.bg and others that are digitally signing entries at the, uh, at the second level of those top-level domains. Uh, and that can propagate downward into the rest of the hierarchy. The root zone file, the thing that points to all the top-level domain servers, is also going to be signed. The uh, process uh, for doing that is underway. Uh, the first uh, initial uh, key generation steps will take place in June. Uh, and I'm one of the uh, many people who will be involved in uh, validating the process and of generating that, uh, that key pair that will permit the digital signing to take place of the root zone file. So uh, these are very important developments in the uh, Internet's uh, security. But there's much more left to be done. That's not the only thing that, uh, that we need to do. We all need to undertake uh, together improving our uh, use of passwords, our, uh, in fact, avoiding reusable ones if we can using two-factor authentication. Uh, we need to introduce also uh, into the routing system of the network another major piece of infrastructure, uh, digitally signed entries in the assignment files that come from the regional internet registries so that when someone advertises that I'm connected to this part of the internet, you should route your traffic to me, you can validate or your ISP can validate that announcement. Otherwise, you might be misdirected to the wrong place in the network by someone who has hijacked part of the internet address space. These are among the many steps that need to be taken in order to increase our confidence in the Internet's operation and our ability to make use of it on a day-to-day -day basis. DNSSEC is one of the most important of those steps, and it's good to see that there are many who are now undertaking to implement that. So uh, with that, that's my summary uh, for what's going on in one part of the security world of the Internet. And until we meet again by uh, you know, virtual video, I'll see you on the net. Um.